course, arrived at the house daily and was stripping the house of all my stuff and taken away. I had assumed that it all gone to the dumps. Well, some of it had because we went dug the dumps and found some of the stuff. But we could only find a limited amount of stuff. We have heard recently American reported to John Thomas in the States that his friend was in NATO. He was ordered with some others from Germany to go to England to John Soule's house and rip out everything and ship it to Washington. And this is what it did. He read and he told John Thomas that now every inch, inch of my home, every inch of it. So what's true, I don't know. All I know is that the bulk of people say lorries came to the house, stuff was shipped, and the father gay said they burnt four days, four nights, all your stuff was being burnt. American wrote to me and said that, did you give your family permission to burn all your stuff? I said, no, you've got the wrong house. And another chap who woke in and wrote to me and said, have you given your family permission to burn all your stuff? I said, no, you've got the wrong house. But when I eventually got back to the place, it was true. Everything was gone. And uh, so what had actually happened to it, the true story, I don't know. All I know, everything was gone. Everything was destroyed. So I had nothing. From then on, because I gave up, I just gave up. I couldn't see how, how you could do this. One second, we need tape. Where is everything going to go? What's, what, where, where do we want to go? Well, key thing, I think, is to get on the environment scheme now underway by governments. Try to get them to realize that if they help us, we could get this generator unit out for vehicles within six months with the right money. We could get them and start producing them to get them in your vehicles. Uh, if all new vehicles have these in right at the beginning, we could find enough. In Kent alone, 11 factories are on standby to go into production. Once we say, right, this is the way to do it. We want the whole world, we want every country to mass produce them. Now, we start cleaning up the pollution. The next task we want to work, and that's coming online slowly. We're getting the equipment together. In fact, this is part of the equipment set up uh, for it. The material's now in order to make the domestic power unit. Because we think that's vital too. Because to clean your house up of pollution coming in, pollen and things like that, make you feel good, is vital. We're not trying to deliberately close power stations down. My concern is your health, your family's health, to give you a better life. The next target after that is, of course, looking at flight. Uh, I think there's not so much hurry on flight because the airlines don't make so much pollution as we are making on, on the ground level side. Um, factories, hospitals particularly, should be geared up to this technology as quick as possible because of the burns department, wounds department, to have their own part, cut their overheads down, immediately get rid of their overheads. Yeah, but how, how will this, I mean, how do you want to get to, to those goals? Well, we, we, there are a number of approaches. We can ask people to send a pound, a um, German mark, wherever they can, a dollar, wherever they can, uh, so that we can keep speeding up buying the materials to get the work done. Because, it's obviously going to get to one point where the money will start flowing in. It's getting to that point, Mr. Buck. What we'd like to see is people becoming responsible for their own good, healthy condition. And it's no good sitting there and saying, well, let somebody else do it. You know, what's a dollar? That's nothing. He can't do nothing. But you can. A million people sent you a dollar. You've got an SG, the first SEG built, basically. From then on, they cost nothing to make. It's getting that equipment to make it. It's like a house brick. If you want to make a house brick, it costs you a fortune to make that one. So you make millions at a time. So they're cheap to make. That's the same with the SEG. If we make it for the home, at this very moment to make one off, probably 110,000 pounds. But to make the next hundred, a thousand pound each. That's how it changed. Gear that right up, really gear that up. We could probably get the domestic power unit down to 500, 600 pound mark, which is nothing.
What is your dream? What do you want? What do you want to achieve? I uh, what I'd like to see is that I was able to fulfil what the dream is saying. Is to get this technology on to be able to get to people in danger and save their lives because we have the speed, we have the energy to do it. The bug with an earthquake is it takes so long to get help to those places. The cost is so high. And generally, you don't have the power tools to work with. It takes time. Just get in a disc, get all the tools there is, all the power, and immediately you have got life saved. You save life. Again, in a burn case, you're in so much pain. If the ambulance had this engine uh, device on them, it means soon they're in there, within minutes, the pain is eased. That alone is a godsend, and they're immediately beginning to heal. Surely that is worth the effort. Just that bit alone. If you've got children with asthma bronchitis, you are hurt because you see them struggling to breathe. Surely, if we could get this in production and fit houses with ease, even if it's sitting on the table where they're sitting, the whole family can benefit at the same time. And what? Well, Three, four weeks, the child's better. It won't reoccur again. The lungs have been cleaned with real good oxygen. Not much oxygen that you're breathing in now. You see, if we look just at the simple things of family life, this unit is vital. It changed your whole way of, of living in your home. And I, I feel that if I saw this done, cars all running on this, I've done my part for mankind. It's worth all the suffering I've gone through, what I've gone without. It'll be worth it. If I die before this happened, all that suffering that has been for nothing, who's going to carry on and see this technology into hand? You see, we're on the internet now. There's a lot of pictures out there now. But up to then, the media could put out what they like. They could twist anything they like. If the big boys say to him, look, we don't want more of that out there. Dump it down. Here, to, here's half a million. So they dump, dump it down. You see, big boys uh, have controlled the governments, have controlled the media. The internet is the only system open. I feel today, uh, and I'm sure in Germany, <coughs> they would love this technology. We've had a lot of letters from people. Where, where is it on the internet? What, what's uh, we've got it on the internet, and um, uh, I'll give the details later. Mm. Uh, of the uh, best pages to look at will follow the most detailed uh, pictures on there. But what I'd like to see is... Uh, now, uh, Roman Seat, I think you present, uh, pronounce it um, in Germany, the magazine, I think it means space and time. Mm. They did for two years nearly a ten-page article on it. Then uh, somebody told them to stop. And uh, they stop it. I feel that when you, a good bit of publicity, nice publicity go out, you'll have Magazine 2000 join in the bandwagon to push. That's for that golf stream, I guess. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, to avoid arguments about the test equipment is a cheap piece of equipment mm -hmm. and therefore may give false reading. We bought a very expensive one, mm -hmm. the professional people use. Mm -hmm. So when they see the machine now now then what's yeah. them? It's true, you can't uh, that that's giving you a true reading of what is going on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But shoot once white, shoot once three three times. Yeah. yeah.
to simulate the effect. Do it, do it wider and then we'll trick it. Yeah, I'm just, just demonstrating yeah. that you can get yeah. uh, uh, so it. Ready? Yeah. Form and energy. So we'll and how long, yeah. sort of how long, sort of how long, sort of length of time? Yeah. Just as long as it takes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. okay. What what does what are we what were we trying to do with this experiment? What is this showing? Well what this is showing is that, that we can actually generate an electrostatic pulse from this, this ring. From this, this 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 composite ring, it can can generate pulses. Now, um, this uh, we're using this ring because the the rollers which normally ro rotate around the ring, uh, we don't have them magnetized yet. So, this which is a complete unit, we are using this as to simulate our pulse which we're generating. What does this mean? I mean, by having a pulse, what kind of? What is well, we're showing that you can actually then you can get electricity. Uh, power from uh, a, a device which has uh, no input of power other than itself, so that the electricity is coming from the electrons in the environment, are uh, being drawn into this this ring, and that when this this ring goes in motion, uh, that power can be can be released. Normally, we would do this with a complete machine with many rollers going uh, around this ring. Well, as we do not have the, the rollers, we're just simulating this condition by stimulating the, the ring itself, by rolling it from side to side. Okay, I'm generally happy with that. Yeah. Well, the, the object of the experiment is to prove... Sorry, excuse, sorry, again. Go ahead. The, the purpose of this demonstration is to prove that if you put the materials in the right quantity, together in the right order, you can get a static force strong enough to propel other products around itself. If you can move a, another product with a magnetic field to pass through coils, then you introduce electricity. So this is a prime mover. That does away with your petrol engine, diesel engine, and everything else. This will keep running basically forever. There's no way of tear. The input is around here. And Mainly at this time, what we want to show is the rollers running around this plate. That's what our target is, to show that we can put some coils there, there's your electric light, and prove that you don't have to buy petrol in that to get electricity or from the mains. That's purely just to convince people scientists are wrong. And the beauty of it is that it is in different layer structure, Scientists say, well, if you can do this uh, like that, surely you can just mix them all together and you get the same results. You don't. It won't do it. You've got to do it this way. Technology to get it right uses this form of mathematics. Its term is the law of the squares. It is the combination of a line of numbers shown here. It could be any line, vertical, horizontal, diagonal. Each number will represent the quantity of material. Your material must be set up in such a manner that there is a flow of electrons from the storehouse through to the outer edge.